Welcome to this AdWords online classroom tutorial on optimization. We aim to give you the necessary knowledge and skills to make changes to your clients' campaigns that will improve their effectiveness and ROI. First, we'll introduce our recommended approach to optimization and discuss optimal account structure. Then, we detail some campaign settings optimization techniques before thinking about what makes a good keyword list. Finally, we'll look at getting the most out of your text ads. So let's get started. Optimization is the process of making changes to an account to improve its overall performance. Optimization is a cyclical process, starting with ensuring that clear advertising goals are defined for your campaigns. From there, it is important to review the account structure to ensure that the campaigns and ad groups are aligned to the website being advertised and are relevant to the product or service that is being promoted. The keywords chosen must be checked to ensure that they are relevant, cost-effective and targeted. Clear, compelling ad texts containing calls to action will increase the click-through rate of ads. And lastly, ensure that conversions online are being tracked effectively. In this section, we will show how well-structured campaigns by theme or product will mean more than just an account that's easy to manage and keep organised. You'll also have sets of ads and keywords that are directly related to each other. This helps improve your quality score, which in turn keeps your costs low. A good campaign structure also allows you to improve the relevance and thus effectiveness of your ads to Google users' search queries, determine which ads are creating conversions and traffic, easily make and monitor changes, have better control over budget and costs, easily locate specific keywords. When organising your account, keep these strategies in mind. Organise your campaigns by topic. A well-structured campaign consists of tightly themed ad groups, focusing on just one product or service. Create separate campaigns for each product line, brand or type of service. Each ad group should then contain specific keywords and ad texts that relate directly to that product, brand or service. This will significantly improve the relevance of your ads to Google users' search queries. Target the right languages and locations. A cost-effective campaign carefully chooses the location it targets. Determine which locations are most profitable to the client business and invest in these areas. Create highly specific ad groups. Creating ad groups that focus on specific products drive higher CTR. Ad texts that may have highly relevant copy triggered by targeted specific keywords are more likely to drive conversions. Avoid duplicate keywords across ad groups. Ensure that your keyword list is mutually exclusive across your ad groups, as this will allow you to control which ad text is triggered by each of your keywords. A good rule of thumb for creating an effective campaign structure is to mirror the website structure. Within this context, there are a number of ways to arrange campaigns and the ad groups within them. Here are some common ways to structure an account. By products and services. If you create campaigns and ad groups around specific themes or products, you can create tightly knit keywords and ad texts that relate directly to a particular product or service and that link directly to that product's web page. By themes or functions. A company that provides only one or a few products or services can set up separate campaigns and ad groups to promote the same product to a variety of needs. For example, a catering company may want to run separate campaigns or ad groups for weddings, corporate events and birthdays. This way, the keywords and ad text can be highly specific and directly relevant to what a potential customer will be looking for. By websites. All ads in an ad group have to promote the same website. For advertisers promoting multiple companies and websites, such as affiliates or agencies, each company or website should have its own campaign or perhaps a separate account. We're now going to discuss how you can optimise campaign settings. In this section, we will introduce useful techniques to assist you with optimising your accounts. Performance and budgeting 
One of the most common reasons to create separate campaigns in your account is to set different daily budgets. You may decide to devote more budget to some of your best selling or most profitable products. By identifying your top performing keywords and placing these in separate campaigns, you can ensure that these keywords have sufficient budget to achieve the best results. This will also allow you to use your budget more strategically, preventing any high traffic keywords from using all of your daily budget. Separate ad groups may be created whenever you'd like to set different maximum CPCs for keywords that may be highly competitive or that convert less. Geographic location. If your business serves several areas, you might create a separate campaign for each. For example, an advertiser who sells wine in France and toy kangaroos in Australia may create campaigns that target each country individually. For multi-country accounts, each campaign should be localized to the local language and should emphasize that services are available in that country. If you are running a promotion in one specific city, you might decide to create a campaign that targets that city only. Targeting. You might want to create separate campaigns focused on the display network and on search. A separate display campaign allows you to use settings that are more effective for display than for search. Branding. To increase awareness of a particular brand term, consider dedicating an ad group specifically to promoting it. Creating new ad groups to match seasonal peaks will also increase the likelihood of clicks. There are three important options to remember when optimizing bidding strategy. Firstly, increasing max CPC can increase the number of impressions an ad receives and makes the ad more competitive in the auction. For small accounts, use the budget optimizer to automate your bids. Consider using preferred cost bidding, whereby our system manages your bids to achieve an average CPC target that you set. And lastly, you can maximize your ROI by analyzing the peak conversion times for your account and scheduling your ads to only appear at the times when conversions are more likely. We now move on to look at effective keyword lists. When optimizing keywords, first filter which keywords are performing poorly. Check for those with a low CTR or a high cost with a low return. Keywords with low impressions and low quality score should be considered also. Removing low performing keywords is not the only option. Lowering your bid and switching them to another, more relevant ad group may improve overall performance. Look at the Keywords tab on your campaigns page to see performance statistics and make changes. Identify well performing keywords using the same criteria from the opposite perspective. Invest in these keywords by ensuring that your bids are high enough, that they are in a tightly structured ad group, and do not have budget limitations which may cause your ad not to appear at times when there is potential for conversions. Once again, the Keywords tab is the place to go. If a certain keyword is doing well, make sure you add lots of variations. For example, if the keyword Car Hire is performing well, you could add the following variations. Cheap car hire, UK car hire, airport car hire, international car hire, car hire national. The keyword tool can help to find ideas for variations or try clicking see search terms on the keywords tab. Finally, consider the match type you have set for each of your keywords. Broad match is the default keyword matching option. If you enter a keyword with no other parameters, it will be broad match. This means your ad will gain maximum exposure, as it could be shown on variations, synonyms and plurals of your original keyword. For example, if I'm targeting the keyword used book, my ad could be triggered by a user searching on terms such as new book, or used magazines, or used book London. The benefit of broad matching is that you gain maximum exposure. The danger is that your ad shows for irrelevant searches that damage your CTR and ROI. Phrase match offers more control. If used book with inverted commas is your keyword, your ad will no longer show for variations, but it will show if a user typed in the phrase used book with a word either side. That is, the ad would be triggered for used book London, but not used magazines.
The benefit here is that you have more control, however, you will receive fewer impressions. Exact match is the most refined option. If you enter used book with square brackets, your ad will only show when a user types in this exact phrase, not used books plural or used book London or any other variation. The advantage of exact match is that you know your ad is only showing on the specific phrase you've entered, and you're protecting yourself from irrelevant variations and phrases. However, you will receive much less traffic than you would from broad match. When to use exact match? Well, if you have a generic keyword like used book, where you know there could be lots of irrelevant variations, such as antique used book or used magazine, you can still run profitably if you enter the general keyword as exact match. However, if you have a very specific six word keyword, you're probably better off with broad matching, as most variations of this very specific keyword are likely still to be relevant to you. Negative keywords are a core component of successful keyword list. Adding a negative keyword to your ad group or campaign means that your ads won't show for search queries matching that term. By filtering out unwanted impressions, negative keywords can help you reach the most appropriate prospects reduce your cost per click, CPC, and increase your ROI. Broad match modifier provides greater reach than phrase match, but more control than broad match. Words in a broad match keyword preceded by a plus must be in the query exactly or as a close variant. Synonyms don't match. Use these tools to find new keywords and to identify which keywords to optimize. Use the Keyword tool to brainstorm ideas for keyword lists and find negative keywords while you're creating a campaign. Once the tool has generated some initial ideas, you can then enter the relevant results back into the tool to generate even more specific keyword ideas. Add relevant keywords to the ad group that focuses on that theme or product. Use the Keyword Analysis field on your campaign's Keywords tab to see an in-depth view of your keyword's performance including its quality score on a 1 to 10 scale. Run a search terms report to see all the search queries that have triggered your ads. You can use this report to identify relevant queries driving traffic to your website and add them as new keywords. If you see any irrelevant terms, add them as negative keywords to your ad group or campaign. Keep sales and conversion data in mind when making these decisions, as CTR and quality score are not the only factors. Use the traffic estimator to find keyword traffic and cost estimates to identify potential keywords to add and to optimize your keyword bids. By knowing the estimated traffic for your keywords, you can set appropriate keyword bids that will help to maximize your ad's exposure within the limit of your daily budget. Finally, let's talk about making the text of your ads as effective as possible. You should test and experiment with different ad tech strategies until you find what works for you and the specific message you're trying to convey. Optimizing ads for CTR and traffic. To optimize ad text, include product descriptions, benefits, and any current value offers. Match keywords tightly to ad text in order to ensure relevance and where possible, use keyword insertion. Optimize ads for branding. Try different ad formats. To promote brand awareness, try visual ad formats like image ads. Graphical messages can grab attention and allow a customer to engage with your brand. Use capitalization to your advantage. Capitalize the first letter of every word in your display URL to bring more attention to your company name and brand. Track and learn from your ad performance. Examine the data on the Ads tab to identify low and high performing ad texts. For high-performing ads, you can try testing a small variation of that ad with a different messaging or a different landing page to see if you can get even better results. If ads aren't performing well, you might consider deleting them or editing them to be more like your high-performing ads. Remember, AdWords will normally automatically show the best-performing ad within an ad group more often. Keyword insertion allows advertisers to match user search terms to ad text, increasing relevance for the user. Group keywords into logical themes and use keyword insertion to embed the keyword in a relevant ad creative. Ensure that ads are well-structured and follow correct grammar and style guidelines after keywords are inserted. 
Don't overuse it. Keyword insertion can make good search ads great, but it's not necessarily effective on its own. To use keyword insertion, insert the code shown on screen at any point in your ad text, including in the display URL or destination URL. When your ad appears on a search result page, the code will be replaced by the keyword that triggered the ad. If the keyword is too long and would cause the ad text to exceed its character limit, the ad's default text will be used instead. Replace the term default text in the code example with the text you wish to show, in case keyword insertion is not triggered. Optimizing ads for ROI means attracting clicks from Google users willing to take action. Define a clear call to action. A clear call to action is especially important if your goal is to maximize your return on investment. Guide a customer on what to do once they reach your site. The call to action should reflect the action that you consider a conversion, whether it's a sign-up, a request for more information, or an actual sale. Especially for ads on the display network, a good call to action will set the right expectation for users in various stages of the buying cycle. Relate ads to their landing pages. The destination URL you choose for each ad should directly relate to the product or service described in your ad. For example, if a retailer's ad highlights apartments for sale in London, the ideal landing page may feature all available apartments for sale in London, rather than the retailer's homepage. Customers are much more likely to buy if they don't have to search your website for what they're looking for. Filter out unqualified clicks. If you want to separate potential customers from those who aren't ready to buy, use descriptive phrases to target your ad text. For example, filter out users who only buy via phone by including something like purchase online. Words like buy, purchase and order can also help ensure that ad clicks come from qualified customers.